The skies over Ottumwa are filled with smoke and there's ash everywhere. But don't be scared, there's actually no danger to the city. In fact, this is actually an exercise designed at making the city safer. Fire crews were busy in Ottumwa today, fighting flames that seemed to touch the sky. It was a 20 to 25 acre area, and with the cattails, the flames were over 20 foot. In this case, however, the fire along 120th Avenue in Ottumwa was one they were expecting. Every year it seems like someone decides to light this area on fire, and uh, we just, after many years of having that incident, we decided to be more proactive. So. Uh, the Ottumwa Fire Department scheduled the burn. According to one firefighter KYOU Fox News spoke to, there has been a grass fire at this location at least once a year for the last 35 years. And in the last 10 days, there have been three grass fires at this location. So firefighters set out a plan to burn it down safely as a controlled burn. In case it uh, would get away from us, we were already ahead of the game. We had water supply, we had personnel, we had uh, waterworks, uh, and we were trying to stay ahead of it. For new Wapalo County Emergency Coordinator Tim Richmond, it was literally trial by fire. He's been a firefighter for 14 years, but he's only been an emergency coordinator for less than a week. The winds were optimal this morning. Now the winds shifted a little bit, got a little stronger as the day went on, and, and that's why Wapalo County Rural Fire came out to assist. He also called for the first use of the OFD's all-terrain gator in fighting a fire. So it's able to go off-road and you wouldn't be able to do an operation like this without it. The OFD hopes this lessens the chance of fire breaking out so close to the JBS processing plant. Jefferson Tyler, KYOU Fox News.